we go, we're losing self-control I keep telling myself, but I don't wanna let you know Is this what we become? Strangers on the run Looking for something, chasing the sun This ROM has a modified pixel launcher by default which has Google Now cards to the left, supports tap and hold actions on the app icons, has the feature of double tapping on the home screen to get the phone into sleep mode, and swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel. And I gotta say, this quick toggles does really look straight like Android P. No joke, this thing is not present in any other ROM except .OS itself. And you can edit the quick toggles like this and we have these many options in quick toggle edit option. The quick toggles over here looks cool and much different than the stock audio ones. But of course, this ROM is still in unofficial build for our Redmi Note 3 so we do have some animation glitches here and there. Don't get me wrong, it's functioning super fine but if you look closely, the upper part of the rounded corners of the white part becomes flat while swiping as you can see and in landscape mode the quick toggles are not properly aligned as you can see. The rounded toggles over here are a bit exceeded from the borderline but it works fine and you won't even notice it in day to day usage. I might sound like just being nitpicky here. The vaulty logo up here looks fresh and new. It has rounded edges too on the logo itself and yeah, vaulty calls does work flawlessly over here. And here is how the quick toggle animations looks like after enabling and disabling. And one thing to note here, the settings icon on the quick settings panel only appears when it's fully expanded. In .ui center, I think we have option to change themes of windows and stuff from here but I couldn't simply make it to work. You can call me a noob but that's how it is and sometimes I have seen it for stopping so if you guys know how to do this, let me know in the comments down below. I simply can't find a way. In dot extras, we have all the customizations of this ROM, which I'll be showing you later on this video. So moving on to display settings, here we have the nightlight mode working super fine and you can even adjust the intensity of it from here. No option to change or choose fonts by default over here, so I think we're stuck with Google Sans font over here. We have double tap to wake feature over here, let me show you there is double tap to sleep on the status bar too and double tap to wake as you can see it's working fine. In device theme, we actually have all other accent colors to choose from like red, yellow etc. I have the pixel blue color over here which is there by default and you can change the UI style to wallpaper based or light or dark and even black if you want that. And we do have ambient display over here in case you want that. In terms of battery, I would say it's okay-ish, nothing to boast about here. Here is an example of the battery life that I got with my usage. And from sounds, you can disable all the annoying sounds like screenshot capturing sound, volume adjustment sound, etc. And all the options in settings has different colors, so yeah, it looks pretty colorful. In about phone, if you wanna see the Android version and stuff, you have to tap on OS information here. Here as you can see, .OS version is 2.3, Android version is 8.1 and this is the 8th June 2018 build by the way and the security patch over here is the latest one of June. Here is the stock kernel name if you want that. We have a .OS OTA updater present over here but it simply won't work because it's an unofficial build as of now. Now it's time to jump inside the customizations up here. We have the colorful looking options over here. First we have the status bar. Then we have the battery icon style over here for the status bar. All the battery icons like circle, dotted circle and the big ones and even square is present up here. And you can change the battery percentage position too from here. Next we have the clock and date customizations for the status bar. You even can enable date to show up on the status bar and other things you are familiar with are present over here. 
Next we have status bar items. From here you can enable stuff like headset, bluetooth, faulty logo etc. Next we have traffic indicator but I use internet speed meter app so moving on. In MISC we have roaming indicator, status bar double tap to sleep option which I showed you already and the brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar. Yeah it works fine let me show you. As you can see it works super fine. In notifications we have notification ticker option, we have the ticker animation style and we have heads up option if you want that. If you tap this back arrow it goes all the way back into the settings. So make sure you hit the go back option. In navigation we have the option to enable software buttons and you can customize it further if you want to and this is how it looks like. In quick settings we have quick pull down but for me it didn't work properly for some reason. As you can see it's actually set to right but if I pull it down from the right edge it simply pulls the notification panel not the quick toggles panel. And in terms of the opacity, if I turn it down, it doesn't do anything, at least it doesn't work right away. But I'm not sure it may work after a reboot or something. And here we have quick settings column and row number customizations. After that, we have recent apps panel customizations. On the top, we get the memory bar and here we have the clear all button. And we have the option to keep a particular app or even apps in memory. And one thing this you may have noticed already that these edges on the windows are not square so yeah it looks cool every sharp edges are rounded on this rom but i would have liked it much more if all four screen corners came with rounded corners by default so moving on to lock screen we have double tap to sleep on the lock screen and we have face auto unlock option yeah it works fine i tried it later after shooting this video but make sure you flash micro g apps otherwise don't complain and we have the lock screen charging info option which does show up while charging. So moving inside system, first we have app ops, then we have button customizations, we have the screen off power button toggle torch option over here, working fine here as you can see. You can disable hardware buttons in case you are using software buttons from here. You have button backlight option and you can set a timeout for it too. And we have some volume rocker customizations over here and from here you can customize the single tap, double tap or long pressing action for each home, menu or back buttons. I have customized the recent button to take a screenshot as you can see. In general tweaks we have some in call vibration option. We have the three finger screenshot gesture present over here but it does scroll the screen so kinda unusable in most cases. Next we have the notification LED customizations which does work here and you can customize the colors for it too. So now let me show you the stock camera app over here. By default we have snapdragon camera app over here. Yeah you can shoot normal pictures with it or even 4k videos if you want that. And if you want portrait mode you can just install GC Mod 5 here is a card for that. And if you were wondering about this droid on time wallpaper I am using over here, well there is a separate wallpaper app pre-installed in this ROM which has great collections of .OS wallpapers. And here is the app open up speeds for you. In the meantime let me show you the benchmarks. So conclusion, most of the things work super fine over here but we have some bugs or stability issues over here I think. That's why I guess this is still in unofficial build. The RAM management over here is simply not good at all. Gaming performance is just average over here. Yes I did play PUBG and there was a lot of stutters even while opening the parachute or even while shooting enemies. The phone almost freezed for like 5 to 10 minutes every time when I was shooting, like most of the time. Even with those I could win a solo match in Miramar with 18 effing kills and then I tried to take a screenshot but I simply couldn't. The phone was super hard to touch. It ended up with a force reboot with a long time of black screen. So if you do play games every day, I can't simply recommend you this ROM. But one good thing over here is. Apps like Google Taze works right away, so you don't have to worry about banking apps. And we have this default music player over here. 
looks cool. By the way guys, if you want to listen to my favorite songs that I listen to almost every day, I'll link it below in the description with the ROM and GApps download link of course so do not worry. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video guys, I hope you liked this one. So if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and click on my face right now and get subscribed if you haven't yet because many more awesome contents like this on Redmi Note 3 as well as Redmi Note 5 Pro will be coming in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, I appreciate you being there and I'll catch you in the next one.